Welcome to Assembly News Now. This is multimedia editor Jennifer Pierce, and here's what's happening with product assembly on April 2nd. An assembly plant goes 12 straight years without a lost time safety incident. The UAW inches closer to unionizing a Toyota factory. Next, Lockheed Martin automates composite layup. And for our top story, manufacturers are testing humanoid robots in factories. And finally, a robotic inchworm inspects jet engines. These assembly news now stories after a brief message from our sponsor Promess, an industry leader for complete turnkey monitoring and motion systems. Employees at the Train Technologies Assembly Plant in Fort Smith, Arkansas, are celebrating 12 straight years without missing a day due to a work-related injury or illness. The factory is on track to reach 6 million hours without a lost time safety incident by October 2025. The factory, which makes HVAC equipment, has been open for nearly 30 years. Approximately 200 people work there. And now, the United Auto Workers reports that 30% of workers at Toyota's assembly plant in Troy, Missouri have signed union authorization cards. It's the first Toyota plant where workers have gone public with a union drive. And it's the latest in a string of non-union plants seeking to join the UAW after it won record contracts from the Detroit Three Automakers last year. More than 1,000 people work at the factory, which makes aluminum cylinder heads. The UAW has also launched unionization campaigns at the Volkswagen factory in Chattanooga, Tennessee, the Mercedes plant in Vance, Alabama, and the Hyundai plant in Montgomery, Alabama. And for our next story, Lockheed Martin has developed a robotic cell to automate the process of laminating composite parts. Four robots work in unison. The first robot delivers a prepreg sheet to the mold. The second applies heat to make the material malleable. And the third robot applies a roller to the sheet so it conforms to the mold. Lastly, the fourth robot bolsters the sheet to keep it in place. Some 240 sheets are laminated to create one part. Lockheed had been producing the parts manually because the process was considered impossible for robots. But new technologies, including artificial intelligence and machine vision, are enabling robots to take on the task with consistent quality. And now for today's top story. Humanoid robots were once the stuff of science fiction. Now, robots with two arms and two legs may soon be deployed on assembly lines. Here to tell us more is senior editor Austin Weber. Austin? Humanoid robots have been talked about for years. In fact, way back in July 2005, Rondos Asimov graced the cover of Assembly Magazine. That same year, the Robonaut machine created by engineers like General Motors and NASA made an appearance at the Assembly Show in Rosemont. However, the technology has advanced a lot since then. State-of-the-art motion control, force, torque, and vision sensors are now enabling green lights to step into factories and warehouses. BMW recently made headlines by announcing that it plans to deploy green lights at its assembly plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina. It has signed an agreement with Figure AI, a Silicon Valley-based startup, to deploy general purpose robots in automotive manufacturing environments. Assembly line applications may include material handling and machine vending. In addition, Mercedes-Benz has just revealed that it will begin using Medtronic's Apollo humanoid robots in its plants. The automaker says that it plans to use the technology for automating some physical demanding, cognitive, and dull tasks, for which it is increasingly hard to find reliable workers. Other automakers, such as Hyundai, Tesla, and Toyota, have also been developing their own humanoids. In China, an EV manufacturer called NEO is already using a humanoid in its factory to attach logos and perform quality checks on door locks, headlights, and seatbelts. Many experts believe humanoid robots will help manufacturers address severe labor shortages. They also claim the machines are about to become the next big tech trend, closely aligned with AI. According to a recent report from Goldman Sachs, 
the cost of humanoids has decreased by 40% over the past year. That trend is expected to continue in the future and help spur rapid growth, resulting in a $38 billion market by 2035. While the potential impact of humanoids on manufacturing makes them an exciting technology to keep an eye on, they also raise many potential concerns. As more humanoids are deployed in factories, it will be interesting to see how the UAW and other labor unions react. The Teamsters Union, for instance, has already been vehemently opposed to self-driving trucks and taxis. Back to you, Jennifer. Thanks, Austin. And finally, engineers at GE Aerospace have developed a new robot for inspecting the interior of a jet engine. Sensiworm is a soft, flexible, self-propelled robot that resembles an inchworm. It is self-contained with its own power, computer, and pressurized air. It can easily move around the crevices and curves of a jet engine to look for cracks and corrosion. It can also measure the thickness of protective coatings on parts. The robot will enable technicians to inspect an engine without disassembling it. Someday, the robot could even be used to repair parts in situ. That's all for this edition of Assembly News Now. For all the latest news on assembly technology, visit assemblymag.com and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching and tune in next month for another installment of Assembly News Now.